hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how I've done a full process of hand painting a one-of-a-kind vase for a friend of my sister's who has custom ordered this a while back so I decided to also create a video from it to show you how I've done it or the entire process and the fun process of it um, as you can see I've created a couple of sketches because the first sketch wasn't to my liking that's the thing you try until you do it correctly and of course um, I've redone the wolf that's supposed to be a wolf by the way but in this one kind of like a puppy so uh, I had to give it a more um, you know wild look it has to be more dominant that's the main idea that my uh, client uh, wanted to have on her vase. This is a goth fairy, I didn't know if I mentioned. She has a thing with butterflies, she loves them very much. But also the idea of goth, so she wanted to uh, implement that to this vase. So once the design was finished, I uh, placed the paper inside the vase so I can see it and stuffed it with newspapers as you can see. So, um, I have it uh, on a firm situation, it doesn't move, so I can paint it clearly. Um, I used a couple of layers of acrylic paint. Um, I can't actually say the, the type of acrylic paint because I used it in the store, but compared to other acrylics, I love it. It is very resistant. Um, but of course, I did varnish it at the end, so it made the... Um, the entire painting even more resistant in time um, and the skin tone uh, as you can already no notice there's a diff there are different types of uh, nuances of skin tone nu different nuances of purple and that's because I uh, paint um, I mix my colors by hand I only have the main uh, colors in the palette I mean red white and blue and the two numb colors white and black so that's why there's there are differences there but I use that into my advantage uh, and played with the skin tone a little bit the shadows and the highlights but I'm actually really pleased with uh, the end result um, I hope the client will like it as well um, and the golden idea that I've done at the main dress uh, had been changed to a more blackish tone because I remember that goth isn't shiny and golden. It's more silvery and black, you know, moon faces. But here is the end result of the face. I 